Hello everyone and welcome back to March Equine. So today's video is quite an exciting one, obviously. Horse shopping! Yay! So at the time this voiceover is being done, um, we do, we're in the buying process, we're doing paperwork, hopefully everything works out. So basically yeah, we are, we've almost bought the horse we're getting They've passed their vet check, and, you know, we're just sorting out paperwork with the owner. So, um, yeah, so I started looking for a horse um, around, like, late winter of 2022, like the start of 2022, because I was out growing flash. You could see my legs were just getting much too long, um, even though I'd been fitting on him quite fine for a while. It was just time to get a proper big horse. So, criteria, we're just kind of looking for um, something a little bit younger. Um, not something too old, but something that's done, um, you know, a little bit of everything. A good all-rounder, but preferably like an eventing horse. Um, and yeah, so let's get into it. So, starting off... Horse number one is a 16 3 hand, seven year old, off the track thoroughbred gelding. And he's a bay with blaze and some white socks. So I tried him first, and my friend found him on Facebook and thought he seemed like a really nice horse. So we went to go view him. The trainer at that barn lunged him first, and we got to see him move. And this actually wasn't this horse's barn that he lives at. Um, he just comes here for lessons sometimes, so that is where we tried him, which was nice because, you know, this wasn't his, like, home environment, so we got to see him somewhere new. Uh, he hadn't jumped the entire winter, so I jumped him, like, for the first time the whole winter, which was nice, and he was just a really good boy. He had been raised quite a lot off the track, but we did really like him. And we actually brought a friend along because this was the, her first horse me and my mom had viewed. So it was good to have someone more knowledgeable there. So I hopped on him. And please excuse my riding. This was like the first time that I'd properly, you know, ridden like a full-sized horse. Um, you know, moving from, to, from 13 hands to 16 three hands is a lot. Because Flash is only 13 hands and this boy was 16 three. But... He was pretty good. He was definitely on the lazier side. He took a bit to get going, but I did like that. And then we just popped a couple jumps and he wasn't like, you know, overly exuberant or anything. He was pretty quiet about it. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble moving him up into the canter though, but he was quite a good boy. So, so far during the ride, I really liked him. I did mute the sound on the videos and everything, but you can hear my mom and friend's commentary. So, we thought we might try that horse out again, but horse number two is a 15-3 hand, four-year-old Irish sport horse cross thoroughbred mare, and she's a gray. And now, only being four, this was not ideal. But my instructor knew the owner, so we decided to go check her out because we liked her ad. Um, I think my friend found her as well. So I got to tack her up, and I did get to see the other horse being tacked up and actually let out of the trailer. So it's really important to tack horses up when you go view them. So I got to groom her, tack her up, and as you can see, she was pretty good. And then her trainer lunged her. Um, obviously she was only four, she didn't have like the best movement or anything, but that would come with time and muscle development. And then because she was so young, her owner hopped on her first, which was a good thing because I was a little worried she might buck or something, but she was really good. And she was just kind of like an old soul in a little horse's body. It just seemed like a really sweet, genuine mare. She was also the first mare that we tried out, so, yeah. As you can see, I hopped on, and I just walked her around a bit. She was a bit hard to turn, but obviously, you know. 
I had just just use my legs a lot and be very sort of firm with what I asked. I'm just watching this video. Her coat is so pretty. Comment down below which horse is your favorite and which horse you think I get out of all these horses I try. Because I do try six of them. So I did a bit of trotting around with her and I did quite like her feel. I was actually also able to just walk her back up to the barn and lead her out of the pasture. So I liked her ground manners better than the previous horse. Even though he'd had his work done a bit more, I just felt like I could manage hers. And then we went both ways, and she actually picked her canter up correct leads both ways, but she obviously wasn't as well schooled as the other horse due to just being so young. So then we just popped over a couple little jumps and did like an X. Now she had been started over jumps, but hadn't been doing much because she'd only had about 90 days of training. And then she put a filler over the jump, and I really had to kick to get her over that one. She wasn't too sure about those fillers. And yeah, so horse number three was a 10 year old warm blood gelding. I'm not sure how tall he is. I would I would guess about 16 two hands, 16 one, something like that. But we weren't meaning to try him, but we tried him at the same yard. And his owner was there and rode him first. And I got to help tack him up and see his ground manners. And he was really nice. He had amazing ground manners. His owner had been using like tiny little like spurs on him and also a crop. I had none of those things, so it was a bit tricky to get him going, but I mean, I feel like I managed pretty well. He had a massive stride and it was quite crazy because Flash does have a horse stride or at least like a massive pony stride um, as big as the horse strides in my barn. So, you know, it was quite <laughs> crazy being on horse with this big a stride. As you can see, I'm getting like shooken about a bit. There were a lot of things I liked about this horse and also some things I didn't. So we just sort of started popping over a couple jumps. I liked the way he jumped. That was probably like one of my favorite things about him. He would definitely be good to teach me a bit more about jumping. And he was pretty experienced with, I mean, he didn't have a ton of show experience, but he was quite experienced. He was 10, yeah. So I just popped over some jumps like I had with the previous horse and yeah overall I really like this boy so horse number four was a 16 three hand 12 year old Later. warm blood gelding I don't know what types of warm bloods these two are just know they're warm bloods and he was big and when I say big he was big 16 three hands but like chunky he was a big warm blood and he wasn't even like fully muscled up. Um, he had been out of work for like the whole entire winter. So his owner had just been bringing him back into work like the last month to get him ready to sell. So he was a big boy. I loved his flat work though. He was so funny. He stuck his tongue out and he was able to do flying changes, which was really good. Something my mom was wanting, um, but wasn't required. So, I loved his flat work. I thought he would be so nice if I was doing dressage with him. And he was just a really good boy. And I knew that he would place really nicely in the dressage ring. He was also not like your typical warm blood. He was quite a little bit more spirited. Um, he was, you know, he went off the leg really well. And did not take much to go. As well as him, you know, coming back from the leg. So, we just sort of started popping some jumps and the jump did throw me out of the saddle a bit just because he really like sort of arches back which is what you're wanting but i wasn't really used to it because i'm used to jumping a pony which is obviously quite different than a big horse like this so we just sort of started practicing this little line and he was really good and then we moved it up to a vertical and as you can see i was getting thrown a bit which is where you'll see, because I actually fall off here. We're just going towards this oxer, and he takes a flyer. I tumble off him, and then he gallops around the arena. Um, we were all good, um, and then I just continued jumping him a little bit, just making sure we could do the oxer. So that was good. 
he would have been a really good horse i think he'd done up to novice eventing and then i actually got to take him out hacking at the end which was really good and he was great and then horse number five was a 15 three hand 13 year old thoroughbred mare and she was not off the track which i really liked because it meant that she hadn't raced and even though she had quite a heavy eventing career she hadn't had the extra strain of racing so she was really good and i was quite excited to try her i really liked her ad and she seemed really nice so she was the most hot-headed horse i'd ever ridden in my entire life she barely needed any leg and just went off your seat more than anything um and it took me a bit to get the feel of her and just sort of get her listening to my leg and hand um she wasn't crazy or anything like that but i did hear that she had been quite the character in her younger years and as you can see i just really had to like sit back and just sort of slow her front feet down so her back could catch up and then we just worked on a 20 meter circle before i got the guts to canter her and we were also kind of in a bit more of an open space, so I did not want her to run off with me, but I didn't think she would. I did really like her canter. I liked it a bit better than her trot, but it was a bit tricky to get her down from the canter to the trot. And then, of course, we went both directions. And this horse's owners were really nice, and she was actually only about 40 minutes away from where I live, so that was good. But here you can see, she's getting kind of excited. I'm just trying to keep her slow. And then we also did some jumps. Now, I didn't jump her too much. I popped the cross rail a couple times, but then decided to call it a day with her just because I didn't feel like I needed to jump her anymore. I was able to lead her back, and she had really nice ground manners, and that was something that I really appreciated with her. So, overall, I thought she was a pretty nice horse, and she'd gone all the way up to training, almost prelim. And then horse number six was a 16-hand, four-year-old Wormblum mare, and again, I don't know what breed of Wormblood, but we tried her out on the same day as the previous horse um, and we still were able to see if we liked her or not and she was four and the least experienced out of all the horses we tried definitely the greenest pony her ground manners weren't like amazing and as you can see she just got lunged by her trainer and this was at the same place where we tried the big warm blood that i actually fell off from so we just looked at her and I mean I liked her but I wasn't set on her or anything. I loved her trot. I loved, I thought she moved really well for a four year old. Um, she'd had 90 days of training in her life but she'd only been in like consistent training for less than a month. So you know my instructor was like just go out there and like see if you like her or not. Um, so yeah, she went both ways and then her trainer hopped on and then I hopped on and it was pretty hard to get her to canter and we only got a couple strides and was not really able to hold it at all. But the trot was pretty nice and the walk. I would say the only thing she did was just sort of stick her head down a bit and she was a little bit behind the leg but that is, you know, something that can be worked on with training. And she did sort of naturally want to like go in a frame, which was nice because obviously she's, you know, too young to be going in a frame on her own, but she kind of wanted to herself. So I appreciated that that was a position that she wanted to carry herself in. She had a really babyish personality and not like in a bad way, but it was just very, you know, silly and like, ooh, I'm the baby, give me attention. Um, and then as you can see, she just needs to be going a bit more forward here. And she was not like super speedy or anything, but 
you know, I was a little bit worried that she would get pretty hot-headed once she got some more muscle on her and was in a more consistent program. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please tell me which horse you think I got, because honestly, it could be any of them or almost any of them. And yeah, please like and subscribe. And um, don't forget to comment. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be introducing my new horse. Bye!